Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you guys this week? Hope you're doing well. Before I get started, I just want to let everyone know someone is posing as me again, uh, messaging people with a phone number. It's not me. I will never, ever reach out. Always remember that. I will never reach out, offer a reading, a phone number on any platform. Anything that you need to know about what I'm offering or not is below the description under every video. So always refer there first, okay? But I will never reach out and offer personal readings. Uh, in that way okay so I also did put singles readings up on Monday so if you're looking for a singles love reading you can check that out in my playlist I'll have some more up next Monday so Aquarius Aquarius does Aquarius need to know oops there we go Ooh, some kind of change or transformation beautiful go yeah a little bit of a break a little healing energy it could be just you know some kind of uh, healing energy but I you know I always see this as someone getting out of their head finding that kind of balance here so this is a, actually really positive because it's about releasing it so to create this transformation this is a life experience here powerful often unexpected revelation it's about breaking free so really nice energy Whatever it is that you're doing, yeah, look at that. It's an energy, oh, putting something behind, moving towards something more successful. Something is, you got a situation becoming complete. Now, this could be a creative pursuit, a relationship, uh, but it's an energy of, um, you know, it's an energy of protecting what you've worked for. It's an energy of standing up for yourself, but it's a lot of hard work. It's looking back at all this hard work. I feel as though there's some sort of change. Some of you may have felt like giving up, but I don't think you're going to. Or it's a person around you. So we'll see what that's about. Oh, yeah, you got a person wanting to communicate here. <laughs> that just came flipping out there. Yeah, so I do think you got someone who's being a little mischievous. Might be a little manipulation. You, I think you've got someone who wants to clear something up about manipulation, mind games, or some kind of manipulation that's going to create some kind of change. I think you got a person who doesn't want to give up. They're coming in to talk, to communicate. So it's definitely someone cheerful, but it's also someone who sometimes is a little mischievous. So I don't know there's a need to clear something up here. Someone may have manipulated or there's some kind of dishonesty, but I do think there's a need for clarity. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups energy. Oops, there we go. Uh, wise counsel. So we have a little, a little bit of hierophant energy. This is about unity. It's about both people being on the same page. So there's an energy of two people not being on the same page. Something to do with communication, miscommunication that needs to be cleared up. It's about putting something behind. Whatever this is, is going to create a transformation. Oh, we've got the Queen of Cups. This could be you. could be this person. This is someone who, you know, the Queen of Cups is someone who's had a tough time in their love life. So it's an energy of not really trusting. So you may have trust issues you may need to put behind. Uh, I feel it could be you, could be this person. This is someone who's in touch with their feelings, emotions. It's also someone who could be self-sacrificing. Someone who's very uh, emotionally generous, very giving. So I feel it's an energy of reciprocity. So there's something here. That's the Queen of Cups wants is reciprocity. So I feel it's an energy of something to do with the way someone behaved, the way they conducted themselves, to do with their habits. Okay, so it's an energy of wise counsel. Oh, yeah, there is <laughs> somebody might be getting some counseling possibly here get in touch with their emotional side. Oh, I see a reason to celebrate. I see something to do with a commitment, a reason to celebrate, a party. It's about building a foundation. Something's about to transform here. Ooh. Yeah, you've got a person who's feeling very enthusiastic. Now, I gotta tell you, this is how someone conducts themselves. Very enthusiastic. This could be someone who likes to party a lot too, a little bit young. But I, a lot of times this is just a very positive communication. I think that it's related to this energy. This could be someone who's younger than you. There may be some kind of miscommunication, uh, the way this person conduct themselves. Someone may have behaved in a little bit of an immature manner. So I think this is someone who wants to put this behind. 
Okay, this is someone who doesn't want to give up here and they want to clear something up. They're planning for some communication. They want it to be successful. So I feel like there was a communication that wasn't successful. Now, I don't know if they were being mischievous or they manipulated or there's trust. I feel like you have some trust issues or they do. Okay, it's because of the Hierophant energy, wise counsel. It's two people just not being on the same page the way they communicate. And I do see this house, this home, this family, family, something to celebrate. So there's someone feeling enthusiastic that maybe you have feelings for them, that you haven't give up. Maybe you're putting something behind. Could be someone who, you know, I'd be, I would be a little cautious regardless. I do see an energy of not so trusting of something, but there's feelings here. Tell me about this transformation. Some of you may have changed your mind about somebody or something after healing too. Oh yeah, some kind of transformation. Scorpio energy, possibly Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's a Queen of Cups. It could be yourself, like I say, it could be them. Yeah, this has to do with truth, that light bulb going off, that aha moment. Someone's having a revelation, um, some kind of realization. It has to do with success. You got, I think you got a person here who's been waiting for you to heal, or they want to clear the air, put something behind. They, you know, you may have changed how you feel after taking a little break from someone. Okay, I see some positive energy. Someone's feeling enthusiastic. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Tell me about this. It's funny here, Aquarius, because I'm seeing. I don't know if this is you or this is them, but this transformation, this is something ending and this change. When every ending becomes a new beginning. So there's this energy of someone sitting on the fence. It's a life path, a decision, a choice. So after a break. Tell me about this nine of wands energy. Yeah, you've had a tough time in your love life. I can see that if it's you, okay? I'm going to just read it as you. You can flip it. It could be the person coming towards you. But I feel as though it's someone who's had a tough time, yeah. So I do see some loneliness, a sense of lack. Uh, I feel as though there's this a person at a crossroads. We have someone who's missing you. But I also feel this is an energy of, um, you know, you've had a tough time. You've, you have trust issues from relationships here. You know, there's always something lacking, you know, and that's what I feel. But I think you got a person who actually has insecurities. So let's see what this is. Tell me about the, yeah, this one. Yeah, so I see communication. To, it's funny, I said that before. I got a feeling there's miscommunication in text messages. Looking at the details, reading between the lines, things are speeding up, moving fast, or some kind of change. You got someone coming around here. Uh, but I do feel there's some kind of change. You know, it could be you've healed, you see things different. Uh, it could be an energy of, you know, somebody coming in here fast, out of the blue, communicating. It could be you, but I feel like it could be this person as well. We've got the princess of... Whatever happens here with this communication, take your time, don't rush. Look at it very carefully. Ground yourself before you make any kind of decision. Because uh, I do feel there's a change. I feel like you, this person's changed. You've changed. Change a habit. It's a, something to do with two people not communicating. Uh, miscommunication, lack of proper communication. Uh, tell me about this five. Yeah, so there you are, <laughs> Aquarius. Yeah, it's about releasing and healing, letting something go here. Letting go of baggage from past relationships, situations. Uh, just letting it go. And I, I actually feel like you got a person here that wants to clear something up to do with communication. I definitely see healing. It's going within, releasing things that no longer serve. See, wise counsel. Uh, this is the way you're going to conduct yourself here. So I feel there's positive energy flowing. You might be the person feeling very enthusiastic, you know. But I think it's this person coming towards you. You got someone who's feeling very enthusiastic here. This is a part. But you got to be cautious. Like I tell you, you got someone coming back around. Watch how they conduct themselves. You may have someone who's here for a good time, not a long time. Very enthusiastic. So really watch it if you got someone who's younger. They may not be ready for a relationship. There's something to do with the communication. Make sure you listen to what this person has to say. Make sure you get the clarity. There's something needing to be cleared up here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups energy. Now, this is going to be a tough one. I can see that. Oops, way too many cards. 
Queen of Cups. There we go. Yeah. So this is that energy of a passionate new beginning. Yeah. You got someone focused on you. They find you very attractive, but they're focused on that physical connection. Now, you have an opportunity for a new beginning. I can see it. I see you releasing, clearing something up, healing, letting it go baggage yeah so there's something to do with justice and balance doing what's right for you you've got someone here who's right for you someone who's not uh, and or it could be a person coming towards you making that decision so whatever you do okay make sure this person sees your worth and your value i feel like you've learned something you know your worth and your value lovely energy love that I see you grounding yourself, taking your time, communicating. I feel it's an energy of two people communicating back and forth. You got someone who keeps coming back around, acting exactly like they did before. So if you have that energy, you may be thinking of just letting go. But I feel there's just this, it's the communication style. It's like someone planning for success, but it's not successful because of the way they communicate. Now, I don't know if they're flirty, passionate, they act immature, or they're just not ready, or they just rush through the communication. It's coming across wrong okay uh, i can see this energy here so what is this justice about Let's just dig into that wise counsel this is commitment marriage it's about whether someone sees you as the one you may have felt this person was the one but i feel like it's the way they're conducting themselves the way they come towards you the way they communicate there's something lacking in the way they communicate you may feel like giving up on this person oh yeah they're coming in to talk Maybe coming in to apologize for being immature. So someone who doesn't come in right. That's what I feel. They you know, don't say the right thing. They go about things the wrong way. Now, I don't know if they're just immature or they're just not good at it. They could be younger, maybe just not ready for a relationship. Who knows? It's very possible. But, yeah, look at that. You've got someone who wants to come in. They want to make peace. I could be someone who needs to make peace with their past, a past relationship. They may have had some baggage. I feel like it could be both of you, but it's right in the heart of the reading. Trust issues from the past, miscommunication. There's a need to heal it. This is two people who need to learn to love themselves first. But I feel there's, it's, I feel like you got, it's almost like they're in that Queen of Cups energy too, getting in touch with their feminine side, <laughs> that emotional energy, this transformation. But it definitely could be yourself. Uh, I feel here this person is definitely feeling enthusiastic. They want to offer you this cup. Their cup runneth over with emotions. They want to make peace. This is an energy of someone um, taking the lessons they've learned from the past, moving forward. So they're coming in. This is how they conduct themselves. So they're a little shy, a little apprehensive. I actually feel this person feels you're out of their league. The situation's out of reach. This person doesn't feel like they're good enough for you. And it's very possible you... You may feel that way now after some change. So, but I don't know. I see you facing that energy. This is somewhat attractive. Someone you felt like was the one. You valued this person. But I feel like it's like they didn't see your worth and value. Because uh, that star is an energy of having faith towards your hopes and dreams. This person's reaching out regardless here. Let's see what this um, page of wands energy is. So it has to do with balance. They're balancing out their emotions. See, this person comes in, they come in unbalanced. They're not balancing those emotions. I do see possibly a head and heart decision here. This is how they conduct themselves. So this person's coming in to apologize for the way they conduct themselves, the way they behave. But they're also fishing for information. They want another opportunity. This is a reason to celebrate. So they're going to offer you... Uh, an invitation it could be a travel go someplace uh, they could be someone who's a little bit at a distance or maybe travel involved but i feel this person's learning something they're learning something about themselves and they're coming towards you it's a, i feel like it's an energy of making peace clearing something up offering you uh, an opportunity so it could be an event so i feel they're feeling very enthusiastic be a little cautious i have to i overall i feel you will be anyway okay it's about justice and balance whether this person's right for you it's about the way they conduct themselves their habits their behavior uh, whether you're on the same page i mean maybe you're just not on the same page but i think it's the communication trust issues so i feel this person needs to come in a little more emotional a little more balanced uh, i feel they lacked that 
Um, I do feel they're enthusiastic, but I still see that page of wands. I still see this person acting exactly like they did before. So keep your emotions balanced here, okay? Because I see this energy. Uh, you're not so sure. <laughs> they may have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. I see a Libra. They may have Libra. So there could be some kind of indecision. I think this person failed to recognize how they were conducting themselves, the way they were behaving. Now, I don't know if they're younger or they just come across as immature, but it's also that energy of here for a good time, not a long time. So like I say, there's indecision. Yeah, they didn't get something they wanted. They offered one little cup, nothing more. That's a little baby cup. You want the big cup. <laughs> Yeah, you want the, you don't want the sippy cup. That's for babies. You want the big cup. <laughs> you want those emotions to flow. You know, so there is an opportunity. They're going to offer you something. Okay. But just be a little careful. Don't give this person too much of yourself. Love yourself first because I feel you know, they may still be in that. They still may conduct themselves. They may come back and act exactly like they did before. Or it's already happened that way. Because I do see this coming back around, this change. But I see you going through change. I do feel like you've healed. You, I don't think you've changed how you feel. But I see you looking on the past with kindness and compassion. So Zenner, there's definitely an energy of forgiveness. This transformation here. This truth, this aha moment. Okay, About clarity, about healing. But I do see the two steps forward and back as far as making a decision. About which way to go here. Some of you might have a choice between two people. I see pages, though. I have to be honest. I see a queen, loving, nurturing, caring. Uh, somebody who, you know, self-sacrificing. Someone who gives and reciprocates. So you want it in return. That's what you want. You want it in return. If they offer one little cup and don't share their feelings, I, I don't think you're going to... I don't think this will go anywhere. I have to be honest. Yeah, so I see something new. They need to express themselves. Everything needs to be out on the table. So I actually feel some of you, you may walk away from this person, but I feel like you're not offering them a whole lot. Uh, I think there's some things that need to be cleared up because I do see some indecision, unable to see. This person may have failed to recognize the way they were behaving. It's quite possible. But make sure everything is exposed and out in the open. Make yourself very clear here with that energy. Because I don't think, I, I, I feel you're a little bit unsure. i got to be honest, you can be indecisive as well here. But I feel mostly it's them failing to recognize that they weren't offering enough, that you were offering them something and they weren't reciprocating. They didn't give you what you wanted. It's exposed. It's there. But I see new, yeah, the birth of something new. Ooh. You're an empress. You've done it. I see that. Learning to love yourself first. Beautiful energy. Wow. Yeah, you're manifesting something new. I, I don't think you're, I don't know if you're going to go for this. I feel like you'll think about it. You may just look, you may forgive this person and still move on and manifest new. But I feel as though you're open to at least hear what they have to say. This person probably fishing for info too. They want to know if you started something new. But I see this person, they actually see you as their hopes and dreams, as this empress. I think they lack, they feel like they're not good enough. But, you know, a little insecurity, a little apprehension about sharing too much. So we'll see here. I'm going to just go up to this five of pentacles. We need to dig a little bit more. Tell me about this five of pentacles. Yeah, see, this is someone here who's trying to figure something out. So it could be someone who's a little sneaky, a little mischievous, tried to manipulate, tried to get you to reach out to give them something. Okay, they wanted you to indulge them. They wanted to be indulged. They needed to know how you felt about them. But they weren't sharing how they felt. They offered one little cup. See, it's a little bit of a test. It's a little bit of that, you know, dangling the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> so they come in with lack you see this person's got insecurities and i do think they're trying to figure this out they're trying to figure this out and i do think you figured it out i think you know this person's insecure i also feel they are sneaky but i think you it's an energy where you know they just want to win they're doing whatever they can to win so uh, it, it feels with the page check it out yourself it is an energy of mischievous but it's usually not someone who has bad intentions uh, may not be the case for everyone, but I mean, it could turn out that way too, right? 
that I feel as though they want to start. They want to know if you've started something. I feel they're cautious. They're offering one little cup here. I don't think you're going to offer all of yourself, but you are going to make yourself very clear that you're not sure. Okay. I don't think you're going to be sure, but you're open to hear. I think you're open to hear what they have to say, but you are not showering your abundance upon this person unless you get reciprocity. And that's what I feel is happening here. So I think this person is trying to figure something out here. They, they got baggage they need to put behind, right, that no longer serves them. So it's an energy of someone. This is someone who's a little bit of a fixer-upper. Uh, sometimes the Queen of Cups is like that, picks that fixer-upper, uh, thinking that you can change somebody. You can transform them by being loving and nurturing and caring. Love you first, okay? Learn to recognize if a situation's out of reach. Yeah, I'm seeing a bit of a fixer up here. Someone who keeps pick, picking the fixer uppers, people who aren't ready or they're immature or they're selfish or whatever the situation. It could be people who need counseling, wise counsel, high refined energy, the way they behave. You may, uh, could be, a you know, you keep picking the same type of person here. But I see someone reaching out here, coming in. Someone's trying, this person wants to make things right. I feel like they want to at least make peace. Uh, even if you just move on from this person, yeah, see, it's about safety, security, financial stability. Uh, it's about whether you feel safe with this person. There's something about their house, their home, their finances. The person, oh yeah, it's cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. I think you're going to end it with this person. I do think it's an energy of making peace. Um, it could be an apology, but I mean, it could be just an end of a pattern, a habit, a cycle, the way they behave. It's possible. Be a little cautious, though. But it could go in your favor. It's hard to say. Make sure it does. Don't offer all of yourself. It's telling you here. Okay. Make sure everything's perfectly clear, exposed, and out in the open. If you're indecisive, if you're not sure, okay, stay balanced. Keep your emotions balanced here. Don't give this person too much of yourself. You get what you want. Your wish come true. I think this person adores you, but I just don't know if they're ready or mature. A little bit of a fixer-upper, and that is a Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is famous for it. So loving and caring, so nurturing, you know. But you want it, you want that reciprocity. You deserve, you deserve to be loved. You deserve to have that. This is, you know, this is something you're very passionate about. But I and I do think you've seen this person as the one, but and I feel they possibly, you know, could see you that way, but I don't know if they're ready. I'm hoping that I see that the way they conduct themselves, this change, trying to make things right, trying to do what's right. This is to do with balance. I do definitely see a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with this person. So someone in touch with their feminine side here. I feel like they're trying to. The Wyatt keeps telling me that. Yeah, see, they see you as marriage material, but it's telling you that's some of your Empress energy, a little Taurus energy. You could have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart. Focus on yourself. You are commitment material. So love yourself first. Make sure if you don't feel comfortable with this person, let them know. Don't be afraid to express yourself. The Empress always teaches someone how they want to be treated. That's what spirits. Be that Empress, okay? I, I feel like you're you're there. You're learning. Um, this is lovely energy. Yeah, you're looking. You're not so sure you see a future with this person. I feel like you're seeing things different yourself here. <laughs> if you are indecisive, I feel like you're, I think you're open to hear. Uh, I do feel you're taking off the rose-colored glasses. Yeah, trusting your intuition, being very wise, your inner knowing. Okay, so you're trusting your intuition. Not so sure you see a future with this person, but it's hard to say where it could go. I see this energy of ending a cycle, uh, breaking a habit, a cycle, a pattern. It could be your own, but I think it's this person too. So what is this person's intentions? What are their intentions? Ooh, love. Okay. This person's intentions is love. Okay. All right. To make a choice. The way they conduct themselves. Maybe commitment. I don't know. I wouldn't. Oh, emotional fulfillment and happiness. They're going to put all those cups on the table. I think this part, whatever is building here, 
Oh my goodness. Just trust your intuition, okay? That's that energy that feels right. If it doesn't feel right, it feels like it's off. I think you're going to still feel like it's off a little. I do feel trust issues. So make sure you, before you start something new, make sure you've released the past. You've healed. I actually feel this person too because it's in the heart. So let's see what the outcome is here. Oh, Aquarius. <laughs> You got this anyway. You're in that Empress energy. Oh, yeah. You could have something new, too. You may have a new person coming in. It's very possible, but yeah. Just make sure if you have a new person coming in that you've healed, make sure you also learn to recognize when someone's not ready. No more fixer uppers. Yeah. Aquarius. What's well, cooking? This one wants to come out. Yeah. There's some kind of achievement. This is yourself achieving that Empress energy. Yeah, there's something beautiful. You have an opportunity coming your way to meet someone new. There's something new, but it's telling you not to give all of yourself. This is your new energy, that achievement, by getting what you want. By You're going to get what you want by not offering all of yourself, okay? So that's what I feel is going to happen here. Now you got this person coming in. If you feel they're a bit of a fixer-upper or, you know, take some time to figure this out. Make sure someone's not a player. Here for a good time, not a long time, Okay. Be wise, yeah. See, a little healing. Someone's trying to, they're going to reach out here. I do see you being so kind and compassionate. You have that side to you, but I see this healing light where somebody needs to fix themselves. They need to figure out what it is they want. They need to sort themselves out before they come towards you. They need to let go. They need to heal before they start something with you. Okay, and I think that it's telling you the same thing. Um, but take it as it resonates. You know where you're at. I see an achievement, an award for good behavior. <laughs> Look at that. You got a new beginning. You got something new. You're going to have a new person coming in. It's not really saying. It's not yet meant to be known. Now, it could be someone who's shy and apprehensive. Okay, you may have a choice between two people. You may have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone in that uh, insecure, fishing for info. Just, hey, do you want to go for a cup of coffee? Do you want to have a drink? And then you got someone who you know, is a little bit fiery, passionate here. So it looks like you might even have a choice. Family, friends, and guides. Trust your intuition. They're going to guide you. Okay, and I see something new. So it's as if you've got something really good here. I think you've got this, okay? <laughs> yeah, I see the healing light, healing and releasing. Spirit, this is that spiritual energy, spiritual guidance. And also with the wise counsel, also a very spiritual card about two people being on the same page, two people committing, okay? This is unity with spiritual-minded community. Ask the divine for help. Trust the answers will come. Someone may, you know, it could be someone making matchmaking too here. Hmm. Yeah, I see some emotional fulfillment and happiness here. Oh, yeah. So someone ga gaining the strength and confidence. Is, I, I feel like you got opportunity for a couple of new things. Like, I don't know if you've moved away from, because you got three pages. <laughs> yeah, and it, it could be one person in those motions, but it could actually be three people, three situations where you're finally learning something you're achieving this empress energy yeah whatever it is it's coming something new getting something you want because you're an empress you know not giving all of yourself till you get what you need from somebody because you need to feel safe and secure you need this person to feel comfortable you got someone who comes towards you you may not feel be feeling confident or comfortable with them you know because of situations here that have happened so yeah balancing head over heart making a balanced decision this is you you're very capable of this that's what this person or persons here need to do but regardless you got something new beginning and it's also a new you okay i can see that so let's see if i can see who's coming in who's this new person they could be a taurus uh, i see libra so part of that energy Aquarius is the Empress is Libra so you got someone here who's definitely in that Libra and Taurus energy right there isn't that funny it's also yourself the way you conduct yourself making choices decision whether someone's right for you or not now, it could be your energy but I do see that person okay it's interesting oh yeah there you go you got a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you've got someone here who's uh, making plans this is grounded sensible practical person so some of you've got a choice to make you got someone new um, somebody financially stable 
Now they, like I say, they could really be anyone here. They really could. And I feel like you may meet them through friends and family. There's some kind of spiritual guidance. This could be a teacher, a counselor. Um, but this new cycle, I love this energy. And I, it's coming in. It's an achievement. Something you're going to achieve. Or this person is achieving and coming towards you. Or it's the two of you. So, yeah, I like this. One more card here. Yeah, great gratitude. So trust your intuition, those little messages the spirit gives you. Okay, there it is right there. You already know everything you need to know. Just trust your intuition. It's going to guide you. You're going to know who's right for you and who's not. There's someone here you're not comfortable with. I actually, in fact, you may even have a few people. But I think it's you've got a person here who's... Uh, leveling up and growing up to see travel and movement, leaving the baggage behind. So this is someone moving away, leaving that baggage behind, uh, coming towards you. They want to get to know you more. They want to discover more about you. That's that Six of Swords energy. Someone wants to get to know you. Make sure you know what their intentions are. Don't offer too much. Don't shower your abundance upon this person until you know what their intentions are. I feel they're going to reveal their intentions. Grounded, stable, practical. I feel like you're getting some kind of an offer uh, to start something. I see an emotional offer, and this offer for a fresh new start. It's about whether you're comfortable. See, safety, security, financial stability. Um, some of you are moving, relocating, getting a new job. Things are about to shift in your favor, but it's telling you to end something first before you start something new. Uh, it could be a job, things like that. But I love this energy. This, there's a reason to celebrate. There's a uh, could be a house, a home, relocation, moving. It could be an energy of two people uh, taking that step to commit or even move in together for some of you. It depends where you are. It's about the next level. Um, I think you got a person who two steps forward and back when it comes to taking things to the next level. Could be you, okay? I do see you being somewhat indecisive, but trust your intuition. Be conscious of the messages. Be gratitude for the lessons that you're learning becoming this empress. So lovely. Take care. I wish you the best. Bye for now.